What's going on guys, welcome back to another video on the channel, now excuse my voice, I do sound a little bit ill today because I have not been recording a couple videos over the last few days, maybe a week because I have been ill, but let's get straight into it. So, Kinder comes in to say, interaction, top bar and versioning, of course they do, we have three images here as well, Oh. Discord's updated. That means this YouTube video has been updated. Oh, amazing! I love it. Okay, so let's get straight into it then. So you got um, you got this thing, which is like the X increase. It's still needing to have the arrow on the thing, but either an X or it's going to be a plus sign or an arrow. We don't know what symbol is going to be on there, but there's going to be a symbol on that one day. And X underscore increase. I think that underscore is supposed to be a space but there you go there you go increasing the size of whatever that is is going to be coming in the future and then you have this thing which is a rotate button and i really like that rotate button it looks very fancy it looks very smooth i like it i like it and then you've got some other stuff in the background too like some rocks you've got some trees you've got this sawmill type of thing being created i presume that is and then you've got some like dirt thing in the background. I'm not too sure what that is. Probably wood. Not too sure. And then the buttons you have respawn vehicle, example text, and then you have test text as well. And you've got a hammer, pickaxe, saw, and a chisel there, I think that is. Oh, it's either a chisel or it's a, like a sanding tool to get into the pieces of wood, you know. Maybe you're going to be able to carve into wood. That might be interesting to see. But that's that for that image. The next image is of the user management. So you've got three buttons at the top, kind of like Minecraft, but you've got user management, you've got the home button, and you've got the settings button. We'll have to see what each one of them does in the future, but that is that for now. And then you've got the server prototype, which displays the setting. It displays the... FPS in the corner. Maybe that could be an optional thing because like maybe if you're recording I don't know they could do recording that could be for testing purposes And then you can have like the in-game stats appear on the screen while you're playing Or it could you could turn that off so you can only see the server prototype because you never know, maybe you're going to get very upset if you're playing on a bad computer and you're playing at 20 FPS all the time. And does does uh, displaying the FPS counter also affect the FPS? That's a question to ask. But we have some notes here and they say yes, that's right. We're implementing keybinds to the new interaction system. Previously, many users dislike the hold to click button, so that is going to be gone, or maybe a setting in the future. Well, considering it doesn't really affect the main gameplay, who cares if you want to hold to click, or if you want to press a button? Them sort of stuff could be changed in the future, could be changed in your settings, and why not have the ability for both? Because some things, like the axes, they are hold to click, or like their hold to use it and then you've got the buttons which are interactions and they are also hold to click but it takes a while it takes like two seconds and it's two sec two seconds that i don't have of my life of playing the game and i just want to play oaklands okay <laughs> but the next thing kinder says is in the sneak peeks i forgot to show the locking function but yes you can still click the buttons or use the keybinds like previously in the testing session Pretty good, pretty awesome. The next thing is from Hoofra and they say, I did an article explaining how tree generation works in Oakland. There is a few sneak peeks that haven't been seen before. Okay, so maybe I shall do a video on that soon. We're gonna have to write a note of that. But the next thing is also an image and it's like language, local languages. So maybe if you're Hispanic or if you're Russian, you could, maybe you want to play in a different language, you could always change the in-game setting to appear as a different language. However, another thing that could be possible is that it could be set to your local region. So if you're playing Oaklands in Russia, it could display the entire game in Russian. That would be interesting, and it's always player customization. I love to see that. The game could be customizable to the player wherever they are in the world. That would be the best game in the world. Now it's time to use all of your flag emojis the one time I will not get mad at you. Wow! Oh my god! <laughs> There's the flag. 
The next thing is also from Hoofra, and they say Willow Tree. I really wanted to make this video because of the Willow Tree, to be honest, Ben. The Willow Tree... What is this? What is this Willow Tree? This... I'm not sure if this is a joke, but the tr the leaves need to ch change. That is not a willow tree. A willow tree is really, really big, and it compared to yeah, compared to the player, it's probably big, but it's not just you don't just see big branches hanging off. The branches they span everywhere. Like they, all, it's like flowers, but all made out of leaves and branches. And then the branches are all hanging down. They get thinner and thinner. Sometimes they intertangle. What is this? It's just leaves. I want to see a new willow tree. If that's coming, that'd be great. But we have updated leaves, so Hoofer might realise what I'm on about already without even seeing the video. But as you can see, you've got the leaves here, they look kind of better, but you see, let's zoom into this tree on the right. This tree on the right, it's too curved over, I think it needs to go up, and instead of there being in three different things, it should be like, at least kind of transparent, because you can go through it, you can... You could grab the some branches off of these hanging. The, the best thing about a willow tree is going under it, grabbing something, and you're pulling off this really, really, really long, thin branch. I really like that. That's the best thing about a willow tree. I don't quite see that captured in this exact willow tree. Maybe it's a different willow tree. Maybe I'm on about something completely different. But either way, you have this big massive thing in the background too, which you're probably looking at it like, what on earth is that? I have no idea. I'm just going to call it a... The, the bread overlord, but uh, the next thing is also from Dev Sharenko, and they go goofy noob sawmill. I like it. It looks rusty. It's all patched up and everything. It looks really, really good. And you've got some squares there as well. Okay, okay. You've got arrows. You've got arrows going up and down. It looks really cool. I like it. But what are the box versions of it? How are you gonna buy it? Are you just gonna buy the sawmill and just carry the entire sawmill and just? Put it onto your base? No! You're going to have a box and then you're going to unbox the sawmill and place it on your base like that. So that is going to be pretty cool. But what do these boxes look like? Here's the front and here's the back. It looks pretty, pretty cool. I hope other boxes appear like this too. Like, mmm. I really like the details of the box and I love the white bits of the box too. I like how it's just not an image of what it is. It's like, it's an image, yeah, but it's like. It's an image, but it's a better image, and it's not the same image as what it is entirely. It's a literal similar image, so you know what it is, but you don't quite know what it looks like. That's something pretty, pretty awesome. And then the final thing we have is from Kinder, and they say, guess what? It's me, Kinder. Today, I come out with a new video of the placement UI. After what I felt like forever, I finally finished it. Special thanks to Hoofa for the back end and Luckfire for designing the UI. Let me know if you have any suggestions or concerns. Love to hear the feedback. And then we got Oakland's placement demo right here. It's like two minutes long, so we can give it a play and we can see what it's about. But uh, yeah, let's see. And then going into the video, you've got Hoofa typing. Ah, why is it always typing? I have to full screen and read this now. I can't read what the typing says, it's very blurry. <laughs> but um, we've got expand property, we've got schematics, we've got structures, exit build mode. Am I watching in the right quality? I have no idea. But either way, you've got mode over there, you've got a nice couple UI things. You can you can select it, move it, rotate it, scale it. You've got the grid thing there, expand property, schematics, structures, I don't quite know what the difference are between them. We'll have to wait and see. And then you've also got like a UI on the left hand side telling you what there is to, that what there is you can do whilst interacting with the certain interaction. And as you can see, Hoofa is having a great time placing down all of these blueprints and uh, yeah, looks pretty cool. Is that a donut one there? The donut ones are coming. Woo! Donuts, love it. And then you got Hoofa pressing the buttons, which property, ah, the property button. I see, property button. And then you got the sawmill there, looking pretty snazzy. 
You place to rotate the sawmill. I really like the background. You've got nice tall birch trees and you've got that light. You've got that nice beach over there too. I really like that. And then what's that? The UI broke. Oh no. <laughs> that was crazy. But that was that for that video. So that is everything I have for you for this new sneak peek. That is literally everything from the last video. It seems like I've missed out a lot, but I haven't missed out anything. I don't think. Um, anything in the Oakland space? Any great suggestions I like the look of? That's going to be it for this video. If you did like this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this from me on the channel, then make sure to turn your notification bell on. That way you get to update whenever I upload a video on the channel. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye.